All right, Jason, here it is. The 15 GMC Savannah conversion van by Explorer Van Company. Nine passenger high top, six liter V8, rear wheel drive. 57,000 miles and no change on the odometer right now. Uh, got your fog lights and your license plate step on the front so you can clean off the windshield if you ever need to while you're on the road. Usually I start around front. I'll try to show you any damage, any highway damage on this thing. I do see some uh, chipping, some stone chipping, normal stuff. It looks like it was donked at one point because there's some hairline, hairline cracks in the front bumper there. So it looks like they put it on a car parking block at some point. Yeah, this one's uh, been touched up too, so they probably smacked this side a little bit harder. Um, that's on the very bottom part of that the van. The rest of it, dirty. I do have one uh, touch up right there. It's like something hit it or got scratched. Other than that, I don't see a whole lot here. Lights look good. Again, I wish it was dry, but I'll do the best I can for you. Um, but I grew up in a body shop, so I know what I'm looking at as far as body work and stuff. And I tell you, I don't see any dings, dents, problems on the body that are apparent. Wheels. Not curbed, tread, decent, not brand new, but they probably have, I don't know, 20, 30,000 left on them or so. A little bit of curb damage on that wheel, a little bit more. The rest of it, a little tiny, 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 tiny bit there. clean and straight body wise. Windows are nicely done, nicely tinted. The tint matches to the shade. Not all purple, gold, or gray, or anything ridiculous. Got wheels are great, man. Usually the wheels are curved up on these things like nobody's business. This one, somebody knew how to drive. Backup camera, back doors, back bumper. It looks like, I, looks like they bonked it low couple times you know the front and the rear but other than that man it's uh it's clean body wise I don't see anything out here just dirt yeah. it's like a little crack right there the molding I don't know what it probably is a piece of debris I'm gonna guess um, frame wise we look nice I've been under this van I'm going to stick my phone under here I'm not going to lay in the puddle but uh, hoping you see the frame and stuff there we don't, we're not rusty alright I got that wheel already let's get the driver's door and then I'll go in and show you the rest of the inside nice two tone tan which is one of my favorites uh, leather looks nice, soft, and supple. Nice and soft. There's no punctures, rips, tears. Uh, I do got a little bit of wear right there on the armrest. That's about it. Console looks good. Doors look good. Does smell funny. Smells like it's supposed to. I don't see any wear on the leather. Dash looks nice. The burl wood's nice. Got your hands free cruise. Got your phone. Got your auto headlights. Your trip computer powers everything as usual as you would expect including the seats there's your 53,000 um, or I'm sorry 57,000 and change do have the sunshade tinted as well overhead heat and cool rear lighting switch panel focus please come on Ugh. anyway all right the dash looks good I don't see any damage here it's got the factory navigation and touchscreen front heat and air controls tow haul mode switch um, 12 volt power airbag i'm sorry trash control on and off airbag on star 110 volt 5 volt charge 12 volt cup holders an interesting note here i don't see any damage in the bottom of these cup holders typically i'll see wear and damage from drinks being spilled and left to left uh to crud up down here I don't see that evidence of that at all in this van, so, which indicates they took care of the rest of it as well. Center console looks good. We do have storage on each side of it. This does come out and has a quick release below it. Uh, obviously, heated seats, power lumbar, 
power recline and an eight-way adjustable this leather looks well good nice and clean as well um, I do have something that's on the seat right there I'm not sure what that is but you can see it's something's been I'm trying to get that off but uh, no rips tears or punctures or anything and there is a small divot in this door panel right there see how big that is about the size of my now yeah, seeing size reference there all right da -da 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 -da. Smell wise, this doesn't appear to have ever been smoked in or had any pets present. Um, the first four captain's chairs, they both swivel and quick release. They do swivel 360 degrees and you can take them out, any four of these first captain's chairs here. Carpet is stain free. I do have what looks like a little mark on it right about there, um, but it looks like it's just discolored and it doesn't appear to be stained at all. Uh, looking back here, these seats look to be in great shape as well just like they're supposed to lighted cup holders you have your storage for your headphones you have four total in this van here's your center console you have storage blu-ray player rear heat and air controls in your console all blinds nice and stain free they're still intact Second row seats. Looks like they're supposed to. USB charging right there. Dimmer switch for your mood lighting. Everything looks like it's supposed to. I think I did those already. Back seat. It's free of damage. Lighted cup holders. Air compressor. Lines are intact, look nice. Mood lighting is working. Right. And there's well. Light a cup holders. And I'll go over this uh, sofa bed, the power sofa bed functionality here in just a second. Rear stereo speakers, rear surround sound speakers. This is storage. Power sunroof with controls in the rear, overhead console, flat screen, surround sound speakers. And like I said, I think, believe this van does have a subwoofer in it. It's going to be underneath this back seat here. So we'll walk on around. Here's the quick release mechanism uh, for the seats. You take this bar here move it forward and the seat will come out this uh, detent spring here go backwards that's what allows the seat to swivel it does have a class 3 hitch with both the 7 and the 4 pin connector on it backup camera of course uh, the door panels look to be in good shape um, lines are still there and functioning. So any damage back here as well. There's jack storage, got a vacuum, bubble volt outlet, and then more storage, of course, in the back of the seat. There's your rear heat and air conditioning. There's your factory paperwork for all your added on electronics. There's your seat controls. It does go forward and back. And then it does power down. And right back up. All right. As soon as I can get this uploaded for you, let me know your thoughts. I really, other than that spot on the seat, man, I'll tell you, I can't tell the difference other than the tires got a little bit of wear on them. And I'll tell you, they probably got 15,000 miles or so, maybe 20,000 left. I mean, they're nice. They don't need replaced. 
but I can tell they're not brand new and that's about the only thing on this van that I can see right now now it's not in the sunlight it does have some water spots on it but I'll tell you I was pretty thorough with it and it uh, it's clean 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 so like I said give me your thoughts when you have a minute get this wrapped up. I think we're about the 10 minute mark on the video. So it's going to be a little bit. I'll get it uploaded. I'll get you a link. Thanks, man.